Grand Teton National Park is a vast alpine wonderland with stunning mountain views and regal wildlife like bears, marmots, moose, and bison. It's the perfect place to commune with nature. If you're new to our channel, welcome! We hope this video inspires you and helps you plan your future dream vacation to Grand Teton National Park. Today we're going to Grand Teton National Park! I'm super excited because I've been looking forward to going to this park for two years now. And it's going to be the coldest park that we visited so far on this trip. We've done a lot of really hot parks like in Utah. So I'm excited to cool off and be in the mountains with the snow and the beautiful wildflowers and maybe see some moose or something. So I'm super excited to do these beautiful trails. We have like four trails picked out. Hopefully we'll be able to get to all of them. And on this, on this trip, we're going to do easy trails under five miles long. First, we stop at the Victor Emporium right before entering Grand Teton National Park to get an ice cream I had been craving for two years. We're here at the Victor Emporium in Victor, Idaho, and I'm going to try Huckleberry ice cream for the first time in two years. I can still remember the first time that I had Huckleberry ice cream. This is the best ice cream flavor I've ever tasted and I love ice cream. It's huckleberry ice cream. Let's see if it's as good as I remember it. It's so good. It really is like all of the berries mixed together into like a super berry. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. So I have to try the shake too. Oh, Good. the shake has so many actual huckleberries in it. It's amazing. You can really taste what the huckleberry tastes like. That's good. But it's that's so delicious. Good. That's what? That's, that's this is your shake? shake? Yeah. This is yeah. your shake? <laughs> We visited Grand Teton National Park on our baby moon the summer before welcoming our daughter into our family. In our opinion, if you could only visit one national park this summer with your family, it should be Grand Teton. This park has it all. Stunning mountain views, pristine alpine lakes, and the chance to observe some fascinating wildlife you may not see anywhere else. We picked four hikes with lake views that we thought would be easy enough for me to do five months pregnant, and they all ended up to be absolutely breathtaking and a perfect difficulty level. We'll start with the Woodland Trail to Phelps Lake, then take a romantic walk around Jenny Lake. Then we'll hike to Lay Lake, which includes the lovely String Lake on the way. After that, we'll make a detour to Schwabacher Landing for an amazing moose sighting, and we'll end our adventure with the gorgeous Taggart Lake hike. Our first trail is gonna be the Woodland Trail to Phelps Lake. And for this, in Google Maps, we put Lawrence Rockefeller Preserve. And so we got to the parking here. You just walk past the Rockefeller Center and keep going and the trail is very easy to find. I'm so excited for this trail. It looks really beautiful and the lake is gorgeous with the mountain views in the background. Phelps Lake was a wonderful way to start our adventure at Grand Teton. The trail winds through an enchanting old forest with a rushing river, waterfalls, and wildflowers. Hiking through Grand Teton is a wonderful experience because even in the high season, it doesn't feel crowded at all. You can really feel that you're enjoying a completely untouched wilderness all by yourself. Making a wish. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> The Woodland Trail is about three miles, but you can make it much longer if you want to walk around the whole lake. The trail is very well maintained and a great workout for the whole family, with exciting features like bridges and big boulders. Once you make it to the lake, keep your eyes peeled for some adorable and photogenic little animals along the shore. This is a really fun short trail, and it has lots of trees with moss on them and huge beautiful rocks. 
And at the very end of the trail, you get this unbelievable view of this lake with the mountains in the background. We also saw a lot of wildflowers and we got to see an adorable marmot up close that just wanted to pose for pictures. It was a super fun hike. Look, it's moss! The moss tree. So cool. I love moss. The woodland trail was so enchanting with all the moss on the trees and the big beautiful rocks. And at the very end, you get this gorgeous lake. And so now we're just hiking around Phelps Lake a little bit and just enjoying this trail is so, so pretty. You can walk around the whole lake if you had all day. It would be so nice, such a wonderful way to spend the day with family. So now we're gonna head back and keep enjoying this magnificent national park. I really love this park so far because it's so beautiful and it's not crowded at all and the people you do see on the trail are so friendly and always say hello and have a big smile. Our experience on this part of the hike was especially exciting because we had an encounter with an unexpected and potentially dangerous animal. On the trail ahead, we spotted a mama bear on one side and a baby bear in the tree on the other. As everyone should know, you never go between a mama bear and her cub. We ended up meeting some new people that were also waiting for the bears to move, and we learned so much about bear safety from the group. How to avoid getting eaten by a bear. Hike in groups, stay calm, and do not run. <laughs> Bye, bear. Bye, bear. Bye, bear. Bye, bear. <laughs> 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 I was scared too. You're scared? Come on. So at the end of our hike, we had a super exciting experience. There was a huge mama bear right in our path with her cub. And so luckily there was a huge group of people around and they knew what to do. Like they called the rangers and then, but the bear started coming towards us and Gabby wanted to take pictures and I was so scared because the bear got pretty close and we were all backing up towards the bridge. And then the, the whole group just started yelling at the bear and like making tons of noise. And it was so fun to be in the group. Like we were like marching and yelling at the bear and the bear went away. But Gabby yeah, got some really good pictures of the bear and he's super excited because two years ago when we were at Glacier, he was so disappointed that he didn't see a bear. And today on our anniversary, he got the wonderful gift of seeing a bear and a baby bear too. Woo! <laughs> it was so fun. That night, we checked into our cabin and then drove to Jenny Lake. On the way, we were lucky to see some amazing wildlife and witness an unforgettable mountain sunset. Jenny Lake was perfect for a romantic and relaxing evening stroll. We just watched the sun set behind the Tetons and now we're gonna walk around Jenny Lake and just enjoy the beautiful evening breeze and see what kind of wildlife we can find. We already saw some deer and this beautiful gigantic silver fox. Unfortunately, I was too slow on the camera, but it was such a pretty fox. Hopefully we'll see another one. This morning we came back super early to Jenny Lake to take photos of the reflection in the water. And we got here around 6.30 and it's perfect. Look how amazing that looks.
Jackson, Wyoming is the closest town to Grand Teton and the perfect place to get a nice meal and relax after a hike. It's bagels. Pearl Street Bagels. This looks like a very happening place this morning. So it must be good. After a glorious morning of photography at Jenny Lake, we went to Jackson to get some bagels and brought them back to our parents, picked up our parents, and now we're at the Lay Lake Trailhead. And right now we're gonna hike String Lake to Lay Lake and then just walk along the lake and enjoy the views as long as we feel like it. So let's get started on this beautiful trail. The nice thing about the hike to Lay Lake is that you don't have to wait at all to get gorgeous water views. If you park at the Lay Lake Trailhead, you'll start hiking along the Emerald Green String Lake. The whole hike is along the shore with water views peeking through a beautiful pine forest. This is String Lake, which looks like a wonderful popular spot for kayaking. And we're going to walk along String Lake all the way to Lay Lake and enjoy these beautiful views. It's only a couple miles to get to Lay Lake, and if you want to make a whole day of it, you can hike all the way to the other side of this gigantic lake and even continue to connecting trails. We're coming up on Lay Lake. It's so big and the water is unbelievably clear. It's so pretty. Can't wait to get a panoramic view of it. Wouldn't it be so fun to kayak out to that tree? The Lay Lake Trail is such a fun one because you get these beautiful lake views of both the String Lake and the Lay Lakes and a wonderful woodland hike. Something really nice about this trail is that you can hike as long as you want around the lake and the views just keep getting more and more beautiful. We're actually gonna head back now because it's starting to rain and then go on our other hike today, which is the Taggart Lake hike. We're in Jackson, Wyoming. We're gonna go find some delicious lunch because we worked up an appetite on our hike today. And it's really fun just walking around this beautiful, cute town. We're at Moose Gourmet Ice Cream and I just got two amazing flavors of ice cream. The huckleberry is really good. I think it's better than yesterday because the flavor is so strong. Delicious and I know it doesn't go with huckleberry but I had to get mint chocolate chip because it's like natural. It doesn't have food coloring and that's my pregnancy craving. Mint chocolate chip. The mint chocolate chip is awesome. So yesterday, a lady gave us a tip that we should go to Schwabacher's Landing Trail to see the moose. That there's a moose here who always comes out and is easy to see. And sure enough, we came here after lunch and got to see an amazing moose show. It's a beautiful, huge moose. And she's so funny because she likes to blow bubbles after eating. So fun to watch. Since we stopped at Schwabacher Landing the evening before for our moose encounter, we get up nice and early the next morning to do the Taggart Lake hike. This morning we're hiking to Taggart Lake. 
I'm really looking forward to this trail. It's one of the most popular trails in the park, and a lot of people say it's the very best one. It's a little bit under four miles and has a beautiful lake at the end. And as you can see, our views right at the beginning of the trailhead are magnificent. We just started this hike and it's already so beautiful with this aspen forest. And we have a wonderful breeze because it rained yesterday. It's already 10 a.m., but it's still really cool. So this is gonna be a wonderful hike. So far, the trail has been uphill along a beautiful rushing river. And so that was really pleasant. And now we're gonna walk through this amazing alpine field with the view of the mountains. This is such a wonderful trail. This is such a classic mountain hike view with a beautiful trail just winding in front of the mountains. I love this and all the flowers. This pine forest is so pretty and the shade is so nice after that short little walk through the sun. This trail is so cool because it really does have it all. As you hike through the mountains, you have the aspen forest, then you have that beautiful clearing, like alpine meadow with the mountain view. Now we have a pine forest, and I guess we're gonna have a beautiful lake soon. We made it to Taggart Lake. This hike was really fun. There's a huge variety of landscapes and a lot of nature. And now we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful view, just relax and listen to the, the water and the wind in the trees. We had an amazing 48 hours in this park and we wish we could stay longer, but we gotta keep going. We hope that everybody gets to experience this place for themselves because it's a wonderful place to really connect with nature. We feel so blessed that we got to hike at Grand Teton National Park on our baby moon. We had some unforgettable encounters with wildlife and got to experience the beauty of wild Wyoming. Ending.